Are you going to keep heckling me through this I'm entire just, thing? I'm trying to help you. Because we can I'm call. As an agent I'll here. call I'm security. Call Eric and tell him to bring the taser down here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll teach you Ali a lesson. Welcome back into the Rowdy Studios. I'm Buzz Cutler. Bassmasters is way down there. The Rowdy Studio has never looked so good. Between the two of us, we have Kristen Yaley and Michelle Gilliland. Uh, wives, I suppose, of NASCAR drivers J.J. No, Hill. racers. <laughs> right. Racers. Well, you're here as racers. You're They're racers. racers. We don't, we're not here as wives. You're no. here as racers in your own right, because you guys are both participating in the Better Half Dash Saturday at Charlotte Motor Speedway. You're getting behind the wheel of some bandoleros and, uh, and racing for all you're worth. Uh, how's it gone so far? It's gone pretty well. Yeah. Been to three different practices. It's been time consuming, but it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Are you getting more comfortable behind the wheel of the car, or did you just take to it immediately? I, I felt comfortable when I was out there by myself right away. I'm like, this is a piece of cake. And then we got out there with everybody, and I was like, <gasps> Whole new ball game right there. I was just the opposite, really? actually. <laughs> yeah, JJ always said that I needed a rabbit to chase. So, uh -huh. I, so you got some rabbits and you were okay. Yeah, but you got the rabbit. I yeah. can't there. focus. Like the car's in front of me and I'm just following them. They're driving it in too deep and I'm way in too deep too. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I gotta focus. It was a lot of fun though. Yeah, like, we all got together. I thought, yeah. Cool. Now, Michelle, you told me you spun out. Have you spun out yet? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And how was oh, that? Really? Was it freaky? <laughs> You know, I didn't even know it was happening. It happens really quick. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time, actually, I was having problems fitting into a car, and the pedals were way too close, so I had a hard time knowing if I was releasing from the gas or not. And spun coming into one, almost hit the wall, very, very close. He's like, on my, in my ear, get off the gas, get off the gas. Oh, and that's and helpful like, and calming, right. right. <laughs> you know, yeah. you can't talk back to him. Uh, and second time is off of three and four in the grass. Oh, so you there, there's only one-way communication coming in. Yes. Mm. So you've got David in your ear and JJ no. in your ear. No, no, it's um, it was Walter. Mm. Oh, you have you have coaches. US. So we all are hearing the same thing when you're out there. Mm -hmm. So you know, one person spins out and he he's a little bit panicky on the radio and yeah. he's like, stop! And you're like, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. And then everybody's spinning out because you're trying to stop. And that's always <laughs> what you want in a spotter is yeah. panicky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just yell, yell really loud and, and like you're really afraid. I gotta ask you. <laughs> about uh, Katie Kent's this little wreck and accident and and what did y'all think about that? Oh, uh, I was scared. We were standing there and you know, she it was her second time just, you know, out and she was really the the first person to go out for the second time and when it happened. I was like, "Oh my gosh, you know, this is terrible." And you know, you're kind of la not laughing, but you're trying to make light of it when it's happening right. and you're like, uh, you know, "Oh, now Matt gets to see what it feels like to be a wife." You know, when right. you run into the infield care center, then, you know, we saw her got out and you could see she didn't feel good. But then, you know, it's, thank goodness, it, for the injury, you know, it right. could have been much worse. Right, it is a treatable worse. injury. Exactly. Certainly painful, not yes. that much fun, but yes. treatable and she's such and she'll a great person and right. she had such a great attitude about it and outlook and, um, you know. So, and Kristen's our fill-in driver, so I got a I teammate am. out of it. Nice. <laughs> so has there been some trash talking in the front row shop? Are, are, are JJ and David, are they trash talking? On, you know what you should do? <laughs> like when, when mayors of rival cities make bets right, on, on the, Super the big Bowl. game, yeah. JJ and David should make bets and have to do something really <laughs> embarrassing. Let's think of something. Yeah, right. yes. come up with something pretty good. Right, I like it. Has this experience, do you think, given you the opportunity and, and then the opportunity to maybe appreciate what one another goes through on race weekends a little bit more? I think so. How so? Uh, JJ wasn't able to be there for my first practice. Um, luckily, a friend of my, a friend Boy, of the family. Husband. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was um, supposed to be at a golf tournament, which was rained out, which turned out to be a poker tournament. So he was having some fun. But <laughs> great. So a friend of the family came with me the first night, and it was it was good. I had a little bit of support, but I was still nervous. He was calling constantly, ch checking up on me. So he wasn't able actually to come and see me and coach me or. Like he's he saying, was coaching just too me. Nervous to be there. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I think he's he's yeah. done me some good. Yeah. Yeah. He was mm -hmm. actually very helpful during my practice. Well, what about you, Michelle? Do you think now you have, David might have a better appreciation of what you go through as the spouse watching the races? Yeah, I think it's definitely been good both ways. I mean, I I have a whole new appreciation for what he does. Like I said, I've always been armchair quarterback of the world, and so now I'm like, just out there with 12 girls, I was like, honey, I don't know how you do Talladega. Like, I would be having a panic attack in the yeah. car. So, um, but And vice versa, like, he said, I'm so nervous when you're out there. And I'm like, oh, that makes me feel good. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Do these cars handle? I mean, do they? Are they? Are you working on the handling or anything? Or are you just trying to drive them in there and get them turned and all that? I, I got out of the car one time, and Wendy Venturini goes, "Is your car tight?" And I go. Oh. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Really, yeah, she like. goes, are you turning the steering wheel twice? I'm like, yes, and turn one and two, and then three and four, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> is she, is, is Wendy in the race? Yes. Uh, uh -huh. That's kind of a ringer, isn't it? Is that fair? She's kind of a ringer. Right, because she's driven in the bus race or whatever it was uh -huh. called, yeah. Yeah, she's good. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good girls, though. I, I, I think mm -hmm. she's got some competition. Now, how many laps is this race? You're not going to have to pit or anything, are you? No. no, they're have they have a competition caution at lap fifteen. Uh -huh. It's twenty five. Gonna check I didn't even then. know that. I think we're still gonna keep rolling around. I don't think they're gonna stop us or anything. Just give you a breather, mm -hmm. basically. We're Probably actually gonna have yeah. a driver's meeting. Did you get the email this morning? I did okay. a driver's meeting. <laughs> <laughs> don't be late. I said that. It back. It That's right. You are. Don't You're miss mandatory. driver intros. Drivers mean driver's intros. Did you pick a song for driver intros? We did. Can you reveal your song choices? I picked California Girl by Katy Perry because because you're a California girl. Right, that yeah. makes sense. Welcome to the jungle for me. Oh, oh classic. Intro That's a classic that. driver Welcome. intro type song. Now we should say, because we haven't yet, that, that this is actually a charity event and benefits Motor Racing Outreach and Speedway Children's Charities. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun, but it's also for a good cause. Exactly, it is. I'm, I'm pretty honored to be a part of it. I mean, the way I kind of fell into it, it's unfortunate mm -hmm. for Katie. Um, right. I'm glad that she's doing better now, but I'm very excited to be a part of it and very honored at the same time. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.